so we now have a new YouTube channel for the entire guild and we will be posting guild videos about what once a week boss lady I would say so and hello everyone this is Strix <laughs> she's gonna be joining me today for this um I will post in the forums uh, the site that we're gonna use the guild videos on so everybody will be aware of that uh, but today we're gonna show the farm that we're using for the guild hall and scribing that we need yep there are certain um mats that our guild scribe needs and uses a lot of uh, including dye pouches and things like that so we have been uh, gathering specific things especially to buy or craft dyes so that then we can salvage them into dye pouches and I do a little farming run that we're going to show you guys to get some of those mats mostly potatoes and strawberries um, with one flax farm included in this and I do this once a day and uh, we thought we would show you guys where to go and what to do. Alrighty, so do you want to go ahead and lead us to that and then after that farm I'll show you some farming spots for uh, some sand. Sure, so the uh, I did these sort of in a gentle progression of um, movement across Tyria from left to right so it's a little bit easier on the the coinage when you're having to waypoint across the map um, but of course everything isn't that expensive so I start out in HOT in Verdant Brink at the Jaka Itzel waypoint um, and I hope I pronounce everything <laughs> correctly as best I can but that's the first one that we go to and it gives us flax so we'll go there and then it's literally just a jump straight off from the waypoint and down 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 to the ground And there's a little hidden spot with lots of flax that we can farm so that's where we will go first And flax is used uh, for a couple things with scribing. Linseed oil is also very valuable, so we've been trying to collect a lot of that. Um, and I think you can get the linseed oil from the flax seeds, so that's what we've been collecting. So once you get to the waypoint, you just go north and just jump off and fall. I am good at falling. <laughs> Me too. But we gotta watch out for the branches. Yes. Look at that, there's already another Anki here. <laughs> So once you guys gather all of your flax at this farm spot, the next one that we, or that I have been going to is, and I don't know how to pronounce this, but it's AKK Waypoint or Ock? Ake? I don't know. Um, it's in Metrica Province, and we go for potatoes there. So that's the next spot. Oh, the Ock Wilds Waypoint? Yep. Oh yes, Aquawilds. Yes, there's more to that, isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> and I always tell people that when you're doing this farm run, the scribe needs a lot of different materials, a lot of different mats from um, all the different levels. So I always sort of gather as I go. I know I'm, I'm mainly going for, say, potatoes for this waypoint, but there are a lot of trees in the area that I'll go 
uh, run to as well and grab whatever wood I can and uh Uh, so it's green wood in this uh, map, which is fine. Scribes do need green wood. They will always need green wood to answer that question of what do scribes need. Um, a lot of the materials get used very quickly, and just because a scribe makes one thing doesn't mean it's going to stick around because the lower level decorations are used to make higher level. So then the scribe has to go back and make the lower level again. So there's always always the need for the lower tiered mats like greenwood and things like that so um, those trees are useful oops I'm doing a bad and thing I, I didn't, didn't uh -oh. do my daily <laughs> So then once you get the potatoes, the next spot that we go to is in Kessex. Um, so I'm going to butcher this name again. It's Cerebeth? Cerebreth? I don't know how you say it, but um, it's in Metrica province. <laughs> or I mean, sorry, Kessex. Wow. It's in the uh, lower kind of east, southeast corner of Kessex Hills. And this one is strawberries? Yes, this is strawberries and be prepared. There are lots of Ettons in the area um, and they're, they're a bit to take on when you're by yourself, but you, it's, it is manageable. So we go sh just run straight south all the way to the, to the bottom and then we'll grab some strawberries. Shall we help this poor person? Oh, they decided to not be helped. I don't have enough energy. Oh, and I was getting SR ready. <laughs> so for this strawberry run, there are actually three different levels to where the strawberries are. Uh, so just because you get some doesn't mean that there aren't more, just so everybody knows. I wonder if we can somehow ignore them. I guess we don't have to gather everything, but there's, um, just so everybody knows, there's some here. And then if you run over and drop down a bit, there's another three of them, I think, three patches that are on this outlook. And then if you drop down, there's a vista that is below, and uh, you can survive the drop. And there are more strawberries at that ledge where the vista is. So three different levels, lots of strawberries. And I, I, one thing we didn't mention is, is um, it really helps to have the gathering boost from the guild hall when you guys go do this because it does actually help with the amount that you get. And by the end of this run, you can have somewhere between 40 to 60 strawberries somewhere in there. So it's pretty awesome. And then let's see, the next one, now we're going to get cold. Um, we're going to go to Snowden, and it's the Exile waste, or Waypoint, which is kind of in the middle at the bottom of the map. Okay, yes, I think you probably already know where to go, right? Yeah. So I'm not quite sure why Ain't It put strawberries in the snow. Those are some very hardy strawberries. I wish my strawberries would grow in the snow. <laughs> but that's where I they are. Know. Be perfect this time <laughs> of year for my to grow strawberries here. Oh. It would. I love strawberries. And I think strawberries are used for red dye. I could be wrong. I just collect them. I don't even make the dyes, but uh, <laughs> I collect all the mats for them, so 
but uh, potatoes and strawberries are used for the dyes, which are awesome. Because we need lots and lots of dye pouches for scribing. It's also used it's a to little bit of a run. <gasps> mm. Mm -hmm. Or oh, strawberry turnovers. Yum, now now you're shortcake. making me hu hungry. <laughs> me too. So this is where the strawberries are. There's a couple owl griffins in the area, but we're onkies, so they'll be nice to you. They Not will me. sense our owlness. Aww. And all the strawberries are pretty much in the same spot and in here, so it's pretty easy to find them all. And then, the next spot that we are going to go to is a quick jaunt over to the east to Diesa Plateau, and it's the Nolan Waypoint? Nolan something. Oh, it's just Nolan Waypoint. Yep, that's it. And it is in the bottom uh, left hand or west southwest corner of Diesa Plateau. And this one's a little tricky. Oh, this one's like that jumping thing, isn't it? Yeah, um it's a little it's a little bit of a pain to to get up to where we need to go and it's hidden and it does all these really neat little little hidden gems which are really cool. So when you get to the Nolan Waypoint, you want to head towards the town. Um and then, oops, I'll wait for you, Cass. Oh, sorry, it was shown on the map. Oh, no problem. So you go through this big wall um, that's around the town, and you go kind of between these two dome-looking structures, <laughs> and there's a little hidden garden back here, and that's where we're going to head. Can we call it the secret garden? I think we should. And the key to this, um, it's very easy to get lost in here. I just stay along the wall all the way. There's lots of these kind of moss-covered gears, but if you just stay along the wall, you won't get lost. And then there's a little bit of kind of basic jumping, but it's kind of a pain in the butt. Um, but it is doable. I think some people jump up on the gear to get up. This is, I mean, I, I don't know, Cass, if you go that way and go up. Yeah, you do. Um, so there are two kind of ways to get up to this, and I, I use this other little shelf. So either way, whatever works for you guys. Oh, what little shelf do you use? Oh, I see. Yeah, it's not even, none of the ways are easy. <laughs> no. See, I can't even do it. There we go. So there's just these other little gears that are sort of floating, and you jump up on the top one. I can portal you if you want. This is a big... <laughs> oh yeah, this is bad because <laughs> it's all like cramped up in one spot. Here. <laughs> so once you get to the top of this, uh, these two little gears that are stuck on this pole, you're gonna jump into this pipe. There's kind of a sneaky little hidden area, which is really neat, ain't it? Does some really fun stuff and you run through the pipe and get to the to the more secret garden within the secret garden <laughs> I wonder what this was it's so cool in here uh, was it this part of the flame and frost stuff <gasps> oh I think you might be right maybe somebody knows and we're doing strawberries again so this is the only area where they are they're just on this little Little platform uh, with a little baby char tending to their strawberries, which we're going to steal. Sorry, Carl. Char. Carl, never steal. Yes, yeah. And then the next spot, now we're going to go back to getting potatoes. We're going to go to the Lore Claw Waypoint. That is in Plains of Ashford, and it is kind of in the, it's, they're all, a lot of them are sort of situated in corners, which is really nice. So this one's sort of in the, the southeastern corner of Plains of Ashford, and it's a really easy one. 
Not a lot of jumping to get to the potatoes. Good. I, I, I sometimes suck at jumping. <laughs> Me too. Great at falling, bad at jumping. <laughs> hey, at least you didn't make your mesmer a char. Not quite sure why I did that. <laughs> Cause chars can PvP. Ah, they're awesome. So then this is the potatoes. Um, there are some separatists that will spawn in this area that will shoot arrows at you, so just be aware. There's usually this one black ram that sits in the middle of this potato farming area and gets angry very easily. So try to appease the black ram and kill the separatists at the same time. By appease, she means you can go ahead and attack it. <gasps> oh, no. oh, it's a sheep. It's not a ram. Oh. Sorry. Sorry, sheep. It's a girl. So then the next spot... Uh, so those are the basic um, mats that go for dyes. Then I also go to one more spot for platinum ore because it's kind of a rare ore to get and there is definitely a need for it as well with the scribe so um, there are, we will maybe post some more videos with where to get some of the other ores in the future um, but platinum seems to be one of the ones that are are kind of tricky same with gold so maybe I'll look into finding a gold farm if possible but for the platinum we're going to Mount Maelstrom and we're going to the Criterion I hope I'm saying that right. Waypoint, and there are a couple of spots for platinum ore there. Which you can also combine with, I think it's iron ore, and make dark steel ingots, which are also very valuable. And let's see, with this one, um, there are a few nodes that are usually up on the mountainside, right where you first come in. But there is, oh, wow, there's a lot today. Um, there is also another rich platinum ore node, which I'll show you really quick. So I'll, I'll farm all this later. If you come running down and go south, there's a heart right there. So just run past the heart. And the node is up. Spider. Did you just... Yes, you did. I know. Hey, he, he started. <laughs> Poor Itsy Bitsy. <laughs> ah! That one missed me. So you come up in this... Up to this temple? I wonder what this was for. And you come over to kind of the right side of the stairs and you run up the side and you go up onto the hill or mountain, the rock face, and you can actually go straight up and then hidden in all of these, all this foliage is a rich platinum vein. And I think it's pretty popular, so people tend to come and farm this spot. So this is a great waypoint for a lot of platinum. Um, and if you do this every day, you'll, you'll, you'll get a lot pretty quickly. And that's really it. That's all we've got so far. Uh, we tried to keep it pretty simple and straightforward. Um, most of these farming spots are in pretty low level maps, pretty much, I think, except for, of course, the first one. So they should be pretty easy to go through really fast. You can technically farm them all with every single one of your tunes um, and collect a, a whole bunch of strawberries and potatoes and flax. Um, but yeah. So, so now, do you want me to show the off the uh, sand farm now? Uh, yeah, or we could, maybe we want to make two videos for that. We could do that one in a second video. That may make them kind of short for everybody. Sure. So, um, I guess then we will conclude 
this lovely farming run video. <laughs> um, thank you guys for watching and um, we really do appreciate you guys with all the hard work that you do gathering and donating um, to help making Ankh even better. So thanks guys. <laughs>